Hi, so in the previous video, we talked about the difference between memory keyword and call data keyword, right? Now in this video, we are going to see the difference between memory keyword and storage keyword. So if you see the definition of memory keyword, its lifetime is limited to an external function call, okay? And storage, the location where the state variables are stored means the contract area where we are actually writing our state variable that area is known as storage area and this is that location where the lifetime is limited to the lifetime of a contract means whenever you are declaring your state variable they are getting permanently stored on the storage area of your data blockchain okay so now let us see the difference between this memory keyword and this storage keyword so on your screen you are seeing that we have this array of length 3 okay and now let me create one function by the name of f memory okay and then i will make this function public and i will have view keyword and in this i will simply do one thing that i will create one more function or not function actually one more array i will create one more array inside this function and since i want to create one more array inside this function i need to use this memory keyword why do I need to use this memory keyword? I need to use this memory keyword first because this array is a reference data type. Second, these reference data type references storage by default. So we need to tell to the compiler, to the solidity program language that I need to use, I need to create an array and that array should be limited to this function call only. And for that, I need to use this memory keyword. So I will create one array let's say the name is ARR1 and in this ARR1 I will assign this ARR array that we have declared as a state variable at this point of time this ARR1 is a local variable right and this ARR1 is getting stored in this memory area because we have written this memory keyword while this ARR is getting stored at storage area okay because this is a state variable and it is declared at contract level now let's say after assigning this ARR to this ARR1, I want to change, uh, let's say, index value 0 of ARR1 to 90, like this. Okay, so I can do this. Now, in the same way, let's say I want to create one more function. Let's say function f storage. Okay, again, it will be public. And in this, what I will do is I will again create one more array. But this array, this array that I'm going to create will not be limited to this function means the array that I'm going to create will actually not be an array, but it will be a reference to this particular array. And you will understand this once we will complete this example. And since we want to reference this array, since we want to point out at this particular array, I need to use a keyword storage. So this storage keyword will actually help us to point out this array. So this storage keyword will actually help us to reference this ARR array and how? So simply again, we will have ARR2, okay, the variable name. And in this, I will assign ARR. And let's say I want to change uh, index value zero of ARR2 to 90 here as well. And simply since uh, we are actually changing, okay, there's some issue. Okay, I have made some mistake in the function spelling. Okay, so now if you will see, we have two functions here. First one, f memory, second one, f storage. And as I said, in this case, ARR2 is a pointer, is a pointer to ARR. Okay, so ARR2 is a pointer to ARR, and we can see that. Well, in this case, this ARR1 is a, is a array. Okay is a is an array that we have created inside the memory okay while this array this arr is actually created this is also an array i'm just telling i know it it might sound a little bit complicated at first but trust me after we will do certain examples after we will complete our project it will make sense to you in this case if you will see this arr that we have right this arr is also an array this is also an array that we have created at the storage area okay so this is the difference this is also an array this is also an array the only difference is that this array exists at uh, this uh, this memory area while this array exists at storage area 
this is limited to your function means this arr1 is limited to your function call while this is permanently stored at your blockchain so now let us deploy this now let us see the difference between this storage keyword and memory keyword so if you will see we have this f memory and let me check the index value of zero of this arr right so it is 10 right so it is 10 now let me call this f memory function i will call this f memory function here now once i will call this f memory function you can clearly see that after the call i am assigning this arr to this arr1 and then i am changing the value of this arr1 so now if i will call this f memory okay so this change has been made to this arr1 array now let me ask you one question whether the changes that we are doing to this arr1 whether those changes will be reflected to this arr variable that we have created at the storage area the, like what i'm asking is that when we are changing the value of this arr1 here right we are changing the index value at zero whether those changes will also be reflected at this array or not so you can think for a second and then you can again play me so i hope you have paused me for a second now let me answer this question and the answer to this question is no because if i will call this arr0 you will still see that it is still having 10 at index value 0 and it is also common sense right you will say that why it will change that because this is a new array ar1 and we are changing the array this arr1 array not this arr so why it will actually reflect like why the changes will be made to this arr right and you are absolutely correct but now let me call this f storage function okay i'm calling this f storage function now and this f storage function is also doing the same thing like in this case if you will see we are assigning this arr variable to this arr2 variable and then we are changing this arr2 variable but as i said that this arr2 is not a new array but this is a pointer to this arr so if now i will check the value of this arr0 you will see that the value of arr0 is changed because this arr2 is pointing to this arr and when we are changing arr2 we are actually changing the arr array now i know i know it is a little bit confusing but let us see this with the help of our presentation now let us understand this with the help of an example so when we created this arr array inside our contract then something like this actually happened at the contract level means at the storage area this array was formed this array was created now after some time when we created this function by the name of f memory and when we declared this arr uh, ar1 fun uh, this arr1 array and then we assigned this arr inside this arr1 in that case a new array was created and this new array was actually by this new array was actually got pointed by this arr1 variable so this is a new array right this is a new array that is created at the memory level okay so this is created at the function level and when we made changes to this arr1 array those changes got reflected in this arr1 array and this is what actually happened when we made changes to this arr1 array those changes were not seen at this array because this was an array that was created at contract area at storage area so this array did not get affected when we made changes to this arr1 array right because this is a new array inside our memory area now when we did this by using this storage keyword when we created a new function by the name of f storage and then we assign this arr to this arr2 variable this arr2 as i said earlier that it is not a new array actually this arr2 is nothing but this is a pointer to this array that we have created at the storage area and when we made changes to this arr2 right like this these changes got reflected at this particular place as well and when we made changes to this arr2 variable the variable that is actually pointing to this array that we have created at contract level those changes got reflected to this array at the contract area at the storage level so a new array was not created and that's why when we made changes to this arr2 variable to this arr2 array those changes were reflected when we called this arr0 index okay and you can see that change here as well you can see the difference here as well that in this f storage we are not using any keyword 
Why? Because we are actually changing the state variable. We are actually changing this state variable when we are actually making we are, when we are actually doing this ARR to zero equal to ninety. Because now we are changing the storage area of this ARR array, right? While in the case of memory, while in the case of this function, if you will see, since we are not actually touching the state variable, we are not actually touching the state variable. We are just viewing the state variable by having this ARR assigned to this ARR1. And when we are making changes to this ARR1, these changes are actually made to the new array, not to this array. And that's why we are using view keyword and no other keyword here. While in this case, since we are making changes to the array that is declared at contract level at the storage level that's why we are not using any of those keyword here and this is a very 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 important concept that you must know in solidity because this is something that we are going to use that you are going to use a lot of time in solidity programming language so i hope by now you have understood the difference between these two arrays like this these two actually keywords memory keyword and storage keyword and if you have any doubts you can comment below I will happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much. Meet you soon in the next video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay.